Hello guys and welcome to Setting Shit uh, Nordic version. Uh, how are you guys tonight? I'm doing fine, thank you. Oh, cool. And if you good? Yeah, great. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks welcome. for having us. Yeah. yeah, welcome. Uh, I'll I'll introduce you guys. Andy Uf, uh, um, uh great of you to join. Uh, you were top two in Norwegian players last season. Yeah, well, uh, we can at least. Seven point, can we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes. It, uh, <laughs> it has been that way all the free season. I'm not uh, sure if he's playing this season, but uh, top two is fine. I'm happy with yeah. that. And you're also a Sylph legend or rank 10, no, a GBL legend or rank 10 every season from the start, haven't you? Aren't you? That's great, yeah. Impressive feats, I must say. Um, also, uh, nice to see you, Tati. Uh, you are, uh, you were top finish season, top finish player last season, weren't you? Yes, I, I so. yes, I was, yeah. Mm. Uh, congratulations, I must say. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks. And, and you also stream? Uh, I don't stream much nowadays, but uh, I might get into that uh, maybe sometime. Okay. Maybe sometime soon, but uh, have not streamed, streamed lately. Okay, okay. Because I remember seeing, I think I saw a draft or something at your channel sometimes. So if you... Yeah, yeah we did have some uh, national uh, national draft tournaments and uh, that type of stuff. So I, I did I did stream that and I've been, I, I, I also streamed a little bit of GBL, but uh, I haven't done that. Uh, like, I don't know. It's been it's been a very long time, basically, <laughs> since, I, <laughs> since I last streamed. I, uh, I understand. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, welcome also uh, to you, Red Ash. Thank you. Uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Um, very quiet here. The kid is asleep. The girl is asleep. So just <laughs> enjoying the quiet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not always that. It's not always supposed to get like that. I, or it doesn't always go like that. I'm sure. Um, you, uh, I know you're a, you're a self veteran, uh, and we were together in our Go Stadium apprentice lobby and Go Stadium uh, Ranger lobby or something like that. And yeah. I know you're a, an extremely talented player, and you you you, you play with Andy Uf on Snowboard Tappers, don't you? Yes, I do. As yes. a field specialist. Right. Oh, I understand. So you're used to uh, acclimate. Uh, acc that words it too uh, too hard for me. Uh, you're used to uh, uh, adapting to new methods and such. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I really like the the new methods each month, so we don't have to if we play, let's say, Open Great League. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty much the same Pokemon every time. Uh, I like using different ones and different types. Okay. Uh, I also I also noticed that you were Denmark number two last season in self. Uh, and so I must say, uh, and if for you ever anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Arnus Aurelius, and I was uh, Norway's number three last season. Uh, just to put it out there. Uh, so uh, if you listen to anyone tonight. Uh, Maybe my advice is the worst one, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I will. Uh, I decided that we start uh, by show by uh, the order by weight tonight, and I'm uh, starting with Pokedex number three hundred two, uh, weighing in at eleven kilograms. Uh, I've picked Sableye. I think in any meta that Sableye is allowed, it's always it's always amazing because it's unique. Uh, the typing is excellent. It only really uh, takes super effective damage from fairy types or fairy type damage. Um, and even with and with the return, the buff it got a couple seasons ago. Uh, it also has. Um, a neutral move to hit back to uh, the bulky dark types that usually uh, usually um, taunt Sableye or or yeah, wall say wall before. But 
Uh, Sableye is one of the most flexible Pokemon uh, in the entire Great League. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. And um, for me, when I when I first looked at this meta, I didn't even notice it at first, and I was 100% sure that Sableye would get the bad hammer and we would not see it this month. But when I noticed it, what hair really, really walls Sableye? I mean, there's the Charmers, uh, maybe like Pidgeot, and uh, Weavile perhaps, but apart from that, I don't know a single thing here that Sableye cannot fight back against. Even Obstagoon uh, takes like 70% or something from a return. It's just insane. Uh, Probably the same with Swilos as well. Yeah, Swilos it, it, also. It yeah, takes a lot of damage. Lot of, there's not a lot of bulky dark types in this format at all. Mm -hmm. so, uh, mm -hmm. Return is really strong for sure. Yeah. yeah. My biggest issue with it uh, is probably all the normal types, though. Uh, I'm assuming we will see a lot of normal types. Uh, not just in Big Rough, because that's a pretty even one. Yeah. But, uh, like the Greedent and the Digger Spear will be will be common, because they're top on PV poke and people will use those. Yeah. I'm, and I, and since yeah. I, I, I also tend to think that a lot of people are using some sort of a normal type in their team because Sable is kind of kind of hard to counter in this better to be honest because of the lack of the uh, uh, bulky dark types. But you basically have the well, the charmer is the obvious one uh, you can counter counter it. But uh, yeah, the normal types are also also one you can use. A lot of all, all those uh, bigger species, Noctowls, Pidgeots, stuff like that. So uh, I can yeah. use that happen as well. I think I think Pidgeot uh, perhaps is the hardest counter to save lie here, apart from the Charmers, of course, uh, because um, I mean I've played uh, I played L Lickitung uh, somewhat uh, in both GBL and Infections, and I faced it up against Save Lie uh, several times, and it's it's. Even against Lickitung, Sableye can put in a lot of work uh, in the Zero Shields. Uh, if, yeah, I think uh, if you if you land triple foul play, I do think you can take out the Lickitung. Uh, uh, this is actually I shouldn't actually say this because uh, people usually go return foul play, and uh, that's that's my win con most of the times. But uh, triple foul play is better than one return, one foul play in the zero shields. Uh, but never mind, Lick, uh, Licky Tang is not here. Um, but even like Licky Licky and Munchlax, I, I do think both of them struggle with Sableye in the zero shields, I, I think. Uh, so but you I risk it to bait on Sableye with a normal type. You don't want to go uh, body slam and it doesn't get shielded. So. It does zero damage. Yeah, yeah then you're that's absolutely true. screwed. You almost yeah. certainly always uh, get uh, you use a shield and you use it uh, correctly shield. You shield a power point, or you shield a, a bulldoze or a power whip or something like that. That mm -hmm. does damage to, uh, to save life, so it's... Hmm. You don't have to think about the shield, you just shield. Most of the yeah. times. Yeah, that's very it can be with the normal types. It can be a little, little bait dependent sometimes. Countering Sableye, and also I would be a little wary of uh, countering it with uh, normal types um, uh, against the Sableye, who has a uh, lot of energy. Because foul plays do end up hurting if they are not that bulky of a of a normal type. A hundred percent. And also, uh, I think we all know that Shadow Claw is perhaps the greatest move in the game, or top two at least. And Farming down <laughs> something with Sableye to come up with a lot of energy is risky for mm -hmm. anything here. Uh, mm -hmm. Even the Charmers, I think Wigglytuff perhaps uh, can take a return, but that that's about it. Uh, the Charmers they take so much damage from from return and then accumulated Shadow Shadow Claw damage. Um, mm -hmm. So I I've tried building a couple of teams without Sableye and. They always feel either weak to confusion or or weak to fighting, and I cannot kind of get both in somewhere else. I'm not sure mm -hmm. where I can get both 
confusion and fighting coverage in one Pokemon. And I think that's really valuable here. Yeah, that's kind of what Sableye do. But uh, then again, I think the... I don't like how uh, close it gets against all of the country users or most of the country users, like like the Primate or the both my champs for Shadow and the regular. Because it's not a straightforward win for Sableye. It probably loses some of them as well, I believe. Uh, Sableye loses uh, the two Shilu versus Shadow Machamp going straight across. Straight across? Yeah. 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 It, it did uh, before the XL system came. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the uh, XL system now. Uh, I seem to remember it's Sableye not too. this. I seem to remember it's not the same nowadays with the XL. XL though. No. It's not a uh, matchup doesn't do that well in that matchup anymore compared to like the uh, like Rose Cup that was uh, yeah. the previous meta which had a lot of uh, matchups and matchups and uh, Sableyes running around. Um, I think the uh, matchup one is still pretty even, um, but the Shadow was probably worse as you can farm down without getting KO'd by the last uh, by the first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um but it's still not not as comfortable as you would like it to be when you when you're using a ghost type. No, that's true, I guess, because you're because you're taking resist damage uh, from from the fighting fighting damage. But uh, you're absolutely right that it's. Um, I I think even Toxicroak. Uh, this was also before the Excel system. I think even Toxicroak wins in, in the two shields with one counter advantage uh, if there is no move or if there is no uh, inconsistencies in fast fast move denials mm -hmm. and such. Because then you win on on uh, on CMP. Uh, on, yeah. Yeah. So even Toxicroak is closer than you'd like it to be and. That's that's if you if you bring Sableye as your only fighting counter, then you're probably in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah. if, you, if you face a, a counter user, because then they but can if you do the that in, <laughs> If you do that in Brawler, you're you're in being trouble anyway, because everyone is got to, uh, going to have a counter user or three. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that, that is true. You, uh, you can go with the triple counter user here. I think. Uh, if you go Vigoroth, um, Lucario, and and Machamp, yeah, or Surfaced. yeah, you can go with triple counter actually. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's football, but uh, <laughs> maybe not recommended. But at least two, I think, will will be common. Yeah, if you uh, uh, this is just like for uh, as a as a safety warning, if you decide to run triple counters, prepare to please run Obstagoon because you will need something for that confusion damage, in my opinion. Um, and uh, I've I've considered uh, partners for Sableye uh, just like somewhat, and I think I think Lapras is a really good partner for Sableye because. Uh, mm -hmm. It's bulky enough to handle the uh, the um, uh, charmers, uh, mostly at least in one shield and one shield, and also uh, the normal types like uh, I mentioned Pidgeot, uh, Noctowl. Uh, I think uh, Lapras the Lapras does really well against uh, against flying types and is a good generalist, and I really like Lapras. So uh, yeah. But yeah, the, uh, also uh, I think steel types and yeah, steel types also pair really well with Sableye, but we all know that from GBL, I guess. Uh, Something like Probo Pass is a really good one to put put aside of Sableye as well, for sure. Yeah, and if you can make Sableye when you switch advantage, Probo Pass can really bring it down on uh, on the players that are, are not prepared for it. So, um, yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's Sableye, that's my recommendation, at least, uh, for, for this cup. Um, uh, I think, uh, the next one, uh, we'd like to hear about is from you, Andy. Okay, yeah, uh, I was, uh, thinking about, um, Pokedex number 214. Uh, 
it's Heracross. I don't know the weight, uh, but you can spell Heracross yourself and Google it. Ooh, actually, okay. let's see. I have it. I have it actually Bulbapedia here on me. Let's actually see. It's uh, Heracross <laughs> weighs in uh, 54 kilograms, apparently. Yeah. Heavier than I thought. <laughs> Lighter than me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, as I, as I said, I think uh, most people will be running. Oh, I don't. Most people is probably not right, but I think there's room for running more than one counter user. And uh, while Heracross isn't necessarily necessarily the first pick for a counter user, I think it's uh, I think it's a pretty nice one here. Um, just Why? Because, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Uh, you have uh, you have some really great coverage, and you do win uh, or you do resist uh, fighting damage, which I think it's uh, it's uh, it's nice for a counter user in this uh, in this uh, meta because there will be a lot of like Machamp mirrors or Wigrat mirrors or stuff like that, and uh, just being able to shield once and counter down or something like that, uh, I think will be really nice. And uh, looking at uh, especially the the heavier classes like uh, like the sixth slot and uh, the fifth as well, there's a lot of uh, steel types and um, so, yeah, steel types, rock types, Pokemon weak to counter. Yeah, that's and, true. Uh, mm -hmm. While uh, while a lot of people will be prepared for counter, I think you always uh, threaten a shield with uh, with hair cross, even if you're stuck in a really bad matchup unless mm -hmm. there's a ghost type or something involved which there of course might be but like the like the sable eye that we discussed earlier uh if you if you have a counter advantage or something like that uh, that close combat is going to hurt uh or mega horn if you're crazy enough to do that i think is close it... combat is the preferred one here Actually, okay. It's, uh, Why? It's mm. quicker. Uh, it's quicker, and if you're stuck in a bad matchup, you can close combat early and get farm done faster. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I don't really yeah. see a usage of Mega Horn that much in this cup. Not a lot of not a lot of things like that require bark damage to defeat, basically. Yeah, um, there, yeah there, I kind there, of do like the uh, new close combat nuke for Heracross if I would run it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. there are few psychic types here, in my opinion. No, there are most of the psychic weak. types are either part steel, like a bronze or a Girax, mm -hmm. or, or you're weak to rock, like a Victinis here. Uh, what other? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Directly, I don't think there's a lot more. Like the. Um, uh, Lunatone and uh, Solarock, uh, they don't want to take a close combat or the counters for that sake. Uh, I'm just they're... throwing the Axie out there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah, might but... uh, still be able to fake the Mega Horn. Same with, uh, with Clay Doll, I assume it's uh, allowed. Yeah. That's uh, true. Yeah. Mm. So, second no, month I, in I, the row uh, for, uh, for Sableye. Hmm? Second, the second month in the row for for Heracross, I mean. Yeah, uh, that's kind of why I suggested it as well because I use it a lot in Lunar, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, it, uh, it does perform pretty well in uh, in bad matchup like uh, against uh, previous month uh, against Air Slash uh, Manibus. Being able to get a nuke off there, it. Uh, you uh, you remove a ton of health from a really bulky Pokemon, which is nice, even if you lose it. Uh, and, I do uh, think you, you you need those uh, those nuke uh, on a frail Pokemon like a Heracross. Yeah, absolutely. And being able to take a shield from pretty much anything, I think it's uh, really valuable. Uh, no matter what you're playing, you can combine it with a with a tanky Pokemon with really heavy heavy hitting uh, charge moves like a, maybe a lantern or something that would uh, uh, enjoy the, um, the grass uh, grass coverage or not the grass coverage but uh, hair grass taking the grass types taking uh, taking down stuff like uh, the stun fist probably without mm -hmm. checking that too too closely yeah um, but probably because it really yeah. resists gra ground damage as well yeah so you have to go uh, for the discharge i think uh, 
yeah, and you take down uh, stuff like uh, the Diggers B, uh, the other fighting types, which are so quick to probably beat Lantern in any shield scenarios mm. where there are shield shields present. Uh, and you also do pretty well against um, uh, against the more uh, more neutral ones because you're just hitting so hard. Yeah, and you have true. a have a nice typing for uh, for this uh, for this cap, I believe. Uh, even it, like the fire types, I assume the fire types will be pretty common. Um, or we will see uh, you some think? fire types. Then uh, you don't. I, yeah, I think I think, I think sure. I think people will use some, at least some fire types to counter the charms, which are which are gonna be there for sure, at least yeah, in some teams. Uh, grass types <laughs> will will be. Uh, yeah, I think we will see like Tropius and some of the more spammier grass type like a Shifter maybe, uh, and uh, also there the the fire types are really great and. Uh, Heracross, if you have a counter or two advantage, energy advantage, uh, you win most of them. Like Talonflame and Charizard, you can't uh, take a rock blast. And uh, mm, sure. even uh, even stuff like uh, Ninetales, uh, it's just the bulkier ones, like uh, Alolan Marowak, really can hard counter it because it resists the counters. That's, the, mm -hmm. that's when the Earthquake Spice comes in. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you do have a lot of. Uh, you can surprise your opponents. I don't think you should run earthquake. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> but, uh, but you can, of course, and you yeah. can threaten like the. Neutral against ghosts. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I, uh, I think I agree because uh, uh, as you said. Uh, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if we will see a lot of fire types, but I th do think uh, Canto Ninetales uh, will be uh, somewhat common at least, because uh, maybe Talonflame as well. You always have something running Talonflame because it's a tap, mo tap, tap moment. Give it two shields and it's easy. Uh, but I think Canto Ninetales also has a lot of play here because it's, yeah, it's. It seems like, to be a pretty good generalist in, I, in general here. I, I agree. I consider talking about Ninetales ahead of Sableye because uh, Overheat basically, it, it, mm -hmm. it, it hits everything so hard. And yeah. uh, you can you can check a lot of uh, cores, uh, common cores with, uh, with the Ninetales, uh, like, like Sableye Lapras core that I mentioned. Um, I think uh, Ninetales is one of is one of the few that fare really well against, or, or at least do pretty well against both of them. And uh, yeah, and you're not weak to fight uh, to fighting. You're not weak to dark. You're just you're weak to water types and rock damage and ground damage. I think that's it. And I doubt ground will be very common in this cup, apart from maybe like Diggers B. Whisk cash, whisk cash, baby. Whisk cash, will all be. Whisk cash, super spammy, bulky. I think we'll see a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but apart from those, not not that common. Yeah. Perhaps Felix. Something they struggle with, or else the Silk would have done a bad job. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so Heracross, another month in the scope. I mean, yeah, uh, I think uh, I think the biggest win for Heracross is if you look at the top 10, 20 of Pivpok, it wins like uh, 75%, 80% of them. It's oh. uh, so much uh, like Diggers P, Machamp, Swilus, probably Whiskash, I don't know, Wigroth, Abomas now. It's a lot of uh, Pokemon that uh, Heracross can do pretty well against. Yeah, and, you can... uh, because mm -hmm. Whiskash wouldn't reach a Blizzard, would it, would it in the one shield? Probably not. If you go wood double close combat, you're doing uh, 13 turns. No, yeah. that's it's 13, 13 plus. Uh, yeah. No, you win. Yeah. No, no, you're, you're outpaced with Heracross to uh, double close yeah. combat. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and based on experience, uh, people will pick just top 10. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's top true. 15. Mm -hmm. Uh, so maybe not the best players out there, but you will have a really easy time against uh, <laughs> some uh, less experienced players. 
Yeah, that's true. Okay. I, I do like Heracles that it counters basically the other counter types, but but, but I don't like is it is that a lot of players I think will use ghost types to counter uh, counter the counter users, and uh, mm. Heracles does not want to see ghost types <laughs> like that. That's the one thing that I do not like, but uh, it has it it has a good good place in a team if you want want to have a fighter that does the basic fighter type things and also checks the other fighting types then i i can see a, i can see a play with it i agree because uh, the only uh, really the only thing that i think do or does the same is toxic croak <laughs> uh, which is mm-hmm. in slot which is in slot 3 uh, that really uh, that's packed with great picks in my opinion and yeah it's um, I think uh, I think Heracross uh, will at least is in the same category for me, for me as Toxic Rogue in this cup, and I do think uh, it will be. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it as you say beats the other characters, and that's a lot of value in this cup. Yeah. I, I do think that Heracross isn't the easiest uh, Pokemon to use. Um, it does take a bit of practice, um, mm. but uh, okay. if you lead with an Heracross, uh, you can most often at least take a shield and swap uh, to a safe swap um, and take that shield advantage uh, and play from there. I think that is something that Heracross really does well and always does well, is that it can take that shield because it has those nukes and you mm. can swap out. That's the mm-hmm. thing I like most about Heracross. That's true. Uh, I completely agree. Uh, it's it's a menace for sure because you always fear that damage coming from a hero class. You gotta respect it. The mega yeah. horn, potential earthquake. Uh, if you lead uh, hero class and the say swap, let's say a little malwag, you can one shot malwag with the EQ. So you have to keep that in mind. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, as for the next pick. Uh, I think it's uh, you with the next pick, Katie. Yeah, we do have a middleweight one, weighing in at 76.5 kilograms. Pokedex number 563, and it's the Kofrim Pokemon. Oh. Kofakrigus. Uh, yeah, uh, about Kofakrigus. Uh, seems to be a quite a good generalist, I think, in this. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of kind of safe-ish matchups. Uh, of course, it doesn't like uh, that many dark types, but as we talked previously, there aren't that many, uh, that many uh, like at least common do- common dark types here, and it and it gives you the uh, uh, fighting coverage as well a little bit, where, um, which seems to be uh, which seems to be uh, common in this, uh, like all the all the fighting types out there. Um, it has this sort of uh, interesting thing that you you. You have both a dark pulse and a psychic, and it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a toss up which which one to use uh, quite quite often. But I think in this one you do want to run dark pulse just for the bait, little bit of more baiting ability with that one. You kind of you obviously want the shadow ball because it's it's shadow ball basically. <laughs> uh, but but uh, uh, you can get the you can get at least some baiting going with the dark pulse and it um, and even with dark pulse it does not tend to shine in like two two shaded matchups. So mm. it gets a little bit better there uh, if you if you have that baiting option at least. And I don't see like that many benefits uh, with ru- running psychic i mean it could help against something like if you have some some energy and the uh, uh you i don't know farm farm something up and the opponent comes in with uh zero sheer wiener sword then it could help <laughs> but uh, but otherwise <laughs> but but otherwise i think shadow ball does fine even against like uh, i don't know if, if there could be any like um i don't know pure poisons or something something like that out there I think Shadow Ball still does perfectly fine, and I think the like the benefits of Dark Pulse outweigh the uh, benefits of Psychic. I think I think in this one, yeah, there are few few uh, single poison types in, uh, that mm-hmm. beat Kof Grigus. Yeah, there's like something like Kanto Mark comes to mind. Yeah, Kanto Mark would be like the only 
poison type that's not part dark type that mm -hmm. would give it some issue i i believe because yeah po poison types are usually straightforward for golf crew yes yeah that's true yeah, yeah. and it's also drag algae but yeah that's not a single poison yeah, maybe anyway. some, yeah. yeah maybe something like but she's still even shadow ball does quite well there it, it yeah. does a lot too uh, it does do a lot of drag algae still yeah, but uh, obviously, yeah, it does. It does not like uh, dark types. It does not like normal types. <laughs> no, that's true. So, uh, yeah, so, no, but uh, the biggest issue of normal types. Yeah, are terrible. Yeah, the, but it, but you but you do do have a pretty good matchup against Vigoroth. So that that's a that's a huge plus for Gofra yeah. Grievous, um, because of the counter, Bonnie slams do absolutely nothing, and Bulldoze is not a great move at all. That's true. Um, but but uh, yeah, otherwise it <laughs> does not love those normal types at all. Especially something like Obstagoon is an absolutely yeah. horrific matchup. But but uh, you do have the uh, normal and dark types, which are very hard for the for the coffin to deal with. So basically, that's pretty um, like straightforward to uh, pair that up, up with uh, some sort of a fighting type, which can take take care of all those. Um, all yeah. those normals and darks out there, and then uh, and then uh, Kofor Grigus can also kind of deal with some sort of I don't know, like some sort of confusion users and stuff like that, which can which can be hard for the uh, fighting types and stuff. So so that's a I, I think that's a good core to uh, try to have in your team, or you don't have to try to have in your but but you, if you have those two types of op options for your in your team, then that's a good good core to maybe study against your possible opponent whether that's a, a good core to use against them also i looked at the uh, ice types seem to be surprisingly good ones to pair with gopher creekers as well something like uh, just lapras or a, a dugong or something like that that's that's often not seem to be a pretty good core as well okay yeah which was kind of a, kind of an unexpected but uh, it yeah. it turned out it turned out that way yeah, but fighting wow. is the like the um, like the most straightforward uh, typing to or mon uh, mon mon role basically to uh, uh, pair it up with. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I, I think I think it's just it just seems like a, uh, at least to me it seems like a pretty good generalist in this. Uh, yeah, apart from all those couple dark types, basically something like Zvilas or Obstagoon or something like that, and uh, all those normal types that, uh, like, it does, it, yeah, it does well against Vigoroth, but other, uh, all the other uh, normal types it struggles a lot with, so. Otherwise, it seems to be quite quite a good generalist, a, a, especially in uh, lower shield uh, scenarios. Yeah, it's, and it's quite bulky too, but Shadow Claw. It's, yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Really, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, my first uh, thought when you uh, when you mentioned the <laughs> mentioned your pick uh, is it's uh, probably one of the best uh, generalists uh, there is in this mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. there's like even uh, even like the Spilers you don't want to you don't want to take like two shadow balls and yeah it's still down. two shadow balls uh, I think it I think it does something like I don't know maybe seventy percent or something the two shadow balls I would imagine something close yeah, to that with the shadow balls that's yeah, yeah. The Swallows isn't the most like most Pokemon out there, so. No, uh, and you uh, the Swallows has to fire a Dark Pulse. You can't Dragon. Yeah, and that's you, true. And that's and true. You can't, yeah, and you can't yeah. bait. You can't bait the Pokemon slam against. No, Kofagrius. It's too risky. Yeah. It's yeah. Too risky. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's never so, worth uh, it. So uh, it's it's basically a, like um, I don't know, a less weak to fighter, but. Uh, but uh, slightly slower and more bulky Sableye. And uh, they do a lot mm -hmm. of sick stuff, in my opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. With the other dark and types, uh, uh, struggles with the normal types. But yeah. maybe and you don't have to feel a bit more damage. hair than what Sableye did. Yeah, I, 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 that's the that's the main difference out there. That uh, the Kofor Krigus doesn't does not fear charm that much. Like that's the, yeah. like, the, be, the most yeah, obvious difference. Like, Wigglytuff, you you had a Yeah, yeah, that's that's of course extremely bad, but uh, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw I saw PVP Steve uh, released a video uh, mm -hmm. yesterday about uh, the Vigoroth and Kof review score. Yeah, uh, and how that is supposed to be popularized. I think a tangent of Ghost Stadium mentioned it as well. 
And uh, the, I think it was Polymers Up also who came up yeah, with that yeah, yeah. Uh, core sure, as well. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, um, I think uh, I think what you're mentioning about fighting types is uh, <laughs> uh, fighting and ghost damage is well known for for coverage because it deals neutral to basically everything. And mm-hmm. uh, and if you pair. If if you want something to to pair Kofigurigis with, I would 100% pick either fighter or pseudo fighting of some sort, uh, definitely. Yeah. And uh, what surprised me most about this pick is that it's a ghost that weighs that much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I seem to remember reading about the Pokédex entry that uh, it it tends to trap all the grave robbers in inside of its coffin. So okay. maybe that's why it weighs that much. Yeah, maybe also because no. it's, it carries a coffin. It actually does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I, from from uh, from the, the diagram of uh, of the meta, I see that also Dusk Noir is more than hundred kilos. What? Ooh. That's- that's a heavy ghost. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, Interesting. But, uh, yeah, but uh, never mind. Dust, Dust Noir is a shitty option compared to Kofi Grigis. Uh, yeah. Grigis is tankier and has better moves. So, uh, yeah. Well, it, they have the same moves. It does have Shadow Claw, but the same charge moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then <laughs> it has. But that plus that is, is the. Uh, you, yeah. you can see the difference already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there are, there aren't that many like good core breakers as they as they found out uh, against the uh, Vigrigus core as it was called mm-hmm. in the uh, PvP Steam video. Sure. Basically, yeah, Sableye is is pretty Sableye. good. Nine tails pretty... is decent, I guess. Yeah, Nine is decent. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, needs to land over here. Against yeah. uh, or against both of them. I think both of them. Yeah. And something like Tropius as well can do can do yeah. quite good against both of them. Yeah, it's, for it's, sure. it's so, so bulky and resists the uh, counters from bigger off and stuff. Oh wow, well, maybe Tropius is not bad. I I I don't really like to play Tropius, uh, but uh, mm-hmm. maybe it's not that uh, not maybe it's not that bad here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, Tropius is too easily walled. I mean, Air Slash is so mediocre, and uh, Grass Damage is so easily resisted. So uh, when you lean so much on on Leaf Blade, then because Aerial Ace is you don't. Why, it's why, an awful would, move. Yeah, why would you even throw Aerial Ace? <laughs> even yeah, against yeah, the low, yeah. even against the low Marowak, I think you want to throw the Leaf Blade. You need to have two, two, two uh, like two stage difference in the super effective, effective scale for the uh, aerial to be actually better. Yeah. For example, against something like Toxic Rock, for example. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Uh, but uh, but um, uh, I'm I'm not sold on Kofigurigis uh, because I think there will be dark types on mm-hmm. most most teams, and uh, I don't know. I've the idea of being being so walled by by dark types as it it's of course it has a I would I would I'm not sure if I'm gonna say a fighting chance but it it has it it, it struggles so incredibly hard and uh, that's a very polar, polar polarized matchup uh, so I I don't know if I if I'll even consider I'm I'll, I'll consider it for sure but. I think slot four has so many great picks, but I don't know. It does, yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, but I don't know if ghost types. <laughs> My issue with like mono ghost ghost types uh, is that it they they are usually, in my opinion, lesser than the dual ghost types like Frostlass, like a low Marowak, uh, mm. like Sableye. I think. You get yeah, like, uh, more flexibility with with these mm-hmm. picks than. Yeah, Mono Ghost doesn't really have that many nice resistances either. Like something no, like Poison and Bug, yeah, yippee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and well, I the think... Poison and the Fighting is pretty nice here, though. That's... Yeah, fight, yeah, Fighting is yeah. Fighting is very nice for sure. Yeah. But 
I agree. Uh, but uh, but um, uh, I, what, what I do like about Coffee Grease and the same mono ghost type is, as we uh, mentioned earlier, Heracross can take a shield from basically anything. You cannot take a shield from Coffee Grease with Heracross. That's you. That's just not happening. <laughs> yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> Uh, because yeah, because rock blast is uh, the only neutral damage you're doing, or uh, earthquake if you're a lunatic. But uh, uh, yeah, and rock, <laughs> rock blast is not a great move, even though the coverage is great for Heracross, The move is just not that good. Yeah, no, you can and... farm down in that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can farm down. You should. Be yeah, to... yeah, 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 There's yeah. No yeah. shield one. farm down. Yeah. Yeah, uh... I'm not sure I fear the dark types with the Coffee Regis as much as you do. Uh, okay. The Obstagoon is uh, the Obstagoon is terrible, of course, uh, but a lot of them is pretty squishy in this cap, in my opinion. It's yeah. not like mm -hmm. you want to, mm -hmm. do... and it's not like there's a lot of uh, heavy hitting fast move damage from dark types, mm -hmm. uh, unless you run fight and. Uh, then you yeah. you <laughs> you're not running by you're not. That's... <laughs> allow the mark with my allow the mark with my just enter the chat I, i'm ending <laughs> I, i'm ending this session right now i have this, this long hill i what i will die on and that's if you run by you automatically lose it's just it's a terrible move and i i don't see any single reason ever to run by it. It, that's my opinion. I, I agree mostly, but <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's why I think uh, Kofigrigis does a lot better than uh, it might seem uh, like when you when you come to all the dark types because they don't uh, threaten a farm down from like full HP or mm. uh, they have to f uh, fire uh, multiple charge moves. Probably it's not like a night slash and counters can farm down. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, or a snarl down after a foul play. It's not happening. Do you think? Really so you have to fire two in most cases. And uh, if you want to overfarm and uh, let the copper you use shield ones, maybe get three charge moves. It's, mm -hmm. You have to kill yourself. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, you're making sense. Yeah, you're actually making sense. Uh, do you think a Pidgeot could farm it down? I guess you would throw mm. a feather down. I don't think so. Like a full farm, then I don't think so. I think the dark pulse and like it's not the bulkiest of mons as well, and uh, it can it can get to double. I don't know dark pulse and psychic quite quickly. So and it will do a lot. Do um, you think it's probably. I don't think you can two hit KO Arcadet. Uh, at least from my guesses, but yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Let's actually see. Yeah, you get, uh, yeah. You get to the, the good dark thing about Pidgeot is about the... get to the feather dance. And feather dance does. Well, yeah. If you if you fire the feather dance with uh, Pidgeot, yeah, then it's then it's different case. Uh, yeah, and I think always you... is, is throw feather dance. It does so little damage, and you can affect mm -hmm. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That that's probably the play if you if you are a Pidgeot player against a uh, uh, Krieger, Let's say. Someone has, I don't know, safe swap Coffee Grigas or something, and you can't swap with Pidgeot, yeah, but then that's the play for sure. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think you still want some from them after a Yeah, uh, I, dis I disagree. I think you uh, I think you throw one Feather Dance and then uh, and farm down because then you save the yeah, shield. Yeah, exactly. You save the shield and you exit with like 60 energy and, uh, and 45 HP. Uh, or something like that, uh, or, or maybe maybe not that much HP. But uh, uh, because actually, oh, oh, okay, yeah, they're not gonna shield that. That's for sure. Yeah, okay, you ex exit. With actually, fun fact: rank one Kofa Kriegers still wins in that scenario. What? It can tank the Feather Dance and all the gusts to to have time to throw three Dark Pulses, which KOs. Yeah, uh, but uh, I don't think uh, I don't think three dark poses KO after a feather dance because they do, they do. Oh yeah, so this is, this is... as well because that's what oh, I. Oh wow, that's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it, it leaves like rank one lives with two HP, so Actually, <laughs> it's even, not comfortable. Even, <laughs> even this matchup is not that bad for Coffee Radius. Yeah, it's so bad. It's bottom. terrible if you let it get through, though. Yeah, it, it can get to those dark bosses or psychics like quite fast still, and uh, and uh, yeah, Gust is only only neutral, so. Uh, I'm I'm actually blown away. I and this is not a pun, by the way. I'm literally <laughs> I'm literally surprised because oh wow, this third the third dark force actually oh, chaos. Yeah. Oh wow. The yeah, only thing that uh, I can think of that Kofagur really struggles with is uh, is baiting because it's. Mm. It, it can't bait itself, and uh, as soon as you shield uh, like a really cheap charge move, uh, you're going to have a rough time because yeah. you can't eat. Like, yeah, if you shield like a weather ball from a bomb of snow, you have to eat an energy ball. It's not uh, you're going to lose that one. Mm. Uh, you also have to remember the fact that uh, all the simulations on PV poke you throw at the perfect time, and no fast move ever gets through. Yeah, if yeah. you get a go through. It's yeah, it's over. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, well, I'm actually uh, inclined to <laughs> hop over, hop aboard the Coco Regis <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Come, just... come and join me in the coffin. Yeah. <laughs> if there's, if there's one lose thing, I do It does yeah. lose the same line. Yeah. It, it does, it does, yeah. yeah. yeah but Shadow Ball does a lot to a Sable line, if you get, course, get some course, energy and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, that's it for the coffin. Uh, for the coffin, I guess uh, it's a great pick for sure. I didn't re realize how good it was uh, until now. Uh, but and uh, then we're moving on to the final suggestion of the, tonight and or today or whenever you as the viewer watch this. Uh, but please, Red Ash, take it away. Yeah, thank you. And uh, my pick is uh, my Lattec. Uh, Pokedex entry 350. It's a uh, slot 5 Pokemon and uh, it's rating around 160 kilograms. Um, what I like to do when personally, when I make a team for a self uh, cup, uh, I like to check uh, the top 20 and see which Pokemon have the most wins there. And uh, I think Melotic has 16 wins. Uh, against the top 20 and uh, if it mm -hmm. got uh, one uh, dragon tail of energy it actually beat two more wow, wow. that's uh, actually insane that's pretty good it's <laughs> really good it, yeah. uh, it takes out my champ and beat will also if with one dragon tail of energy uh, and it takes almost all of the top 20 pokemon oh um it's really in a one shield you started the one shield with uh, perfect baiting. One shield, yeah. Yeah, okay. One shield, yeah. Yeah. Takes down. Uh, one of the things I really like is when you check the list and you <laughs> check uh, the, the normal save switch, the save switch as Frost Lash and Vigoros and Sableye, it takes those, it wins those matchups. Um, Dragon Tail buff really helped out Melotic and it's quite bulky also. And uh, there aren't that many grass type Pokemon in the top 20. And uh, when I play Sylph, I often see top 20 Pokemon on all, all teams. Uh, most of the teams have top 20 Pokemon. Uh, so I always like to find that little core breaker. And I think Melotic could be a core, uh, could be a core breaker in, uh, mm. in this meta. Uh, and um, one of those um, Steelix, it loses the Steelix matchups. But Steelix mm -hmm. also have to be worried about the, the surf damage. Mm -hmm. yes, this, uh, I, guess so, uh, Steelix, I guess Steelix has to land the Earthquake, and I do think you... I don't think you can go straight Earthquake here. No. It's a bait. Or you can go for the deep buff chance on Crunch. Yeah, you, yeah I, I think you can crunch. probably go with straight Crunch and hope for the deep buffs and stuff. Probably. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you have to be very. Uh, you have to worry about double surf. Yeah. Triple surf. Yeah. yeah. 
You can wow. go double save, but uh, if you get uh, one uh, Dragon Tales of Energies before, you have to learn the, the Earthquake also. Mm. So that is another matchup it can win. Uh, one of the yeah. only losses it has uh, in the top 20 is Obama Snow. Uh, yeah. But Obama mm. Snow also have to uh, to land the, the Energy Ball because Weather Ball does nothing to, to Melodic and so yeah. Obama Snow damage, also nothing. Uh, yeah. Champ, of course, can uh, can break through, and if you have a Shadow Machamp, uh, the matchup becomes a little more comfortable for the for the Machamp and uh, Tropius. Of course, it's it loses to to Tropius. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but you can uh, you, you if you thing. if you shield, you may land a Blizzard if you want Blizzard. I personally would want um, Hyper Beam with Melodic. For that extra extra coverage against other water types, you, but you're are you, mm. you're, are you already running a dragon tail? Don't you think that suffices against uh, against other uh, water types? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be quite mm. hard to get actually get to hyper beam with dragon tail as well. It does not generate energy like that much. But no, uh, and I think uh, something like Lapras is going to be very common, and you need hyper beam mm -hmm. uh, against the Lapras matchup. Blizzard yeah. himself does nothing, and Dragon Tail is, of course, uh, yeah. it does um, it does some damage. But uh, Lapras can land a Skull Bash, and um, yeah, then it's that over. really hurts. Yeah, really after, hurts. and when with uh, when Lapras is defense buffed, that's a tough one to take down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Losing Lapras is one of the best picks in this entire meta. Oh, it's a really yeah. good one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it, yeah. so having some coverage against Lepros is, isn't a bad idea. Yeah. I think uh, that's yeah. the, the key thing that made me uh, one on one uh, Hyper Beam instead of Blizzard. Because mm. uh, normally you, have... you would lose those uh, grass types uh, matchups. Yeah, it's. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And if yeah, you but... have like one Dragon Tail lead and the Lepros comes in, you can. Uh, you a little CMP, CMP uh, then, yeah? I think so, to the skill bash. Yeah. And you win the CMP against Eight Lepers. And eight to nine, yeah. yeah, you do. Not to the but second Mal round. Melodic is also one of those mods that are surprisingly bulky. Like, like you kind of... Like you don't face it that often. You kind of forget that it's it's bulkier than you might think, actually. Yeah, it takes, yeah. it, it takes a neutral hit fairly yeah. well. I think, it, I think it has some time, it probably has close to 2 million stat product or something like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah close, close at least. It's, it's yeah. uh, about, I think it's about similar to Blastoise or something like that, or maybe a bit... Quicker. Yeah, maybe, maybe close, yeah. Let's actually see, just for fun. Yeah, they're yeah. actually very, very close. They are very, very close. Yeah. Basically uh, identical, yeah, okay. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I'm. I was really surprised by how well uh, Milotic is performed against uh, against the meta here, because uh, yeah. from the, from the top, yeah. city, it has like it took me by the surprise as well. Definitely, yeah, it has just a couple of losses. I mean, a moment now, of course, that's extra grass type it, it beats you because you can it can go straight uh, energy ball, but yeah. but uh, apart from the grass types, it doesn't look like there's hardly any hard wall to it doesn't the really lose that big uh the matchup it does lose it's not by much and it does yeah. bring out uh, some sort of uh, farm down afterwards so yeah. you can, if you can pair it up with something good that uh, can farm down it's uh, it's quite a good call wow yeah and, mm -hmm. and walling grass types isn't too hard no it's it's no. not it's not yeah you have a nine tail to have a lowland mail uh, <laughs> yeah that could be uh, paired quite well flyer a logic a flyer too. yeah it also uh from the sims at least checks the vigor of Kofagrigi score it does it, yeah, it can it's all right yeah uh, yeah it's, it has to be actually at least pretty pretty neutral to both of them yeah, uh, so I think rank one Vigoroth wins out, but uh, but uh, the default one uh, just doesn't uh, reach the last uh, body slam to to win. So it's a close one. Uh, Kofa Grigis is uh, a straight up win. Uh, no, let me 
double check this. Uh, no, you win the Zero Shield, and uh, I think. Oh, uh, let's actually. Yeah. I think optimize it's, that. It's. Uh, Are oh, you even, actually? Even. Yeah, it's pretty even. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so you're not dunking on them, to put it that way. But uh, yeah, for sure. You have some. You have some winning chance at least. Um, yeah. Yeah, and Dragon like is neutral against nothing other than Fairy and Steel. Uh, and there are not that many uh, types of those in this meta. Yeah. We will oh, have Fairy can be an issue, that's uh, true. For Steel, oh, you have this. Uh, what would you pair uh, Melotic with in, in this cup? Uh, Melotic can lose to the fight and the two shields, so I would pair up with Alola Marowak, which I think would okay. be a good call. Uh, because it has the, that uh, farm down uh, potential against uh, uh, counter users and grass. Yeah, and uh, with the fire, because I think that's a great shot actually. Because uh, because you need some coverage against fire fighting types with two shield, and uh, you mentioned both steel and fairy types, which fire type fire type checks really well. Yeah. So yeah, that's actually a that's actually a great shot. Uh, I think we uh, I think we lost Tati. <laughs> I think we lost Tati here. Uh, like he'll be back. He... Yeah. He's a bit uh, shot. But also, I think I think uh, Talonflame uh, would be a menace. Talonflame with, could uh, also be very very good. Yeah, uh, the, then electric types might be a problem, but uh, but uh, yeah, I do think the lantern would be quite bad also against uh, yeah. the Melwick, uh, melodic core. Uh, yeah, would be an issue either way. Yeah, same way the Again, another way reason for one hyper beam. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, but um, I do think that's uh, that's what I came here for today. Uh, I'm I'm sad we lost Tati. Uh, of course, there had to be some issues. I it couldn't have gone it couldn't have gone better uh, because that. I mean, demo or die or die. Like even even Microsoft messed up the first time they were presenting. So <laughs> I guess we go in the footsteps of Bill Gates here. Uh, and Big steps. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, you know, aim for the moon uh, or aim for the stars. I don't know what I say in this. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I will just thank you guys for coming out. I will message Tati and thank him as well. Uh, yeah, thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, uh, of course, of course, it's been a pleasure for me, and uh, I hope we'll see you again soon. And I hope to see more of you uh, in the itself, uh, Red Ash. Uh, and Andreas, I'm coming for that second spot. Just so, just <laughs> be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. See ya.